So a pitching change here in Cedar Rapids. Runner on first, one out for the pointers. They already lead six to four, hoping for some insurance. This is an elimination game here in Cedar Rapids. We will step aside and come back with the conclusion of the eighth inning here in a moment. Pitcher Griffin Malik for the Pioneers, 6'2", 161 pound right-hander from Akron, Ohio. He'll come on with one out and a runner at first base in the bottom of the eighth inning. Trying to keep this at a two-run difference to get his offense back out there. And trying to make the comeback in the ninth inning. Alex had a nice year, 5-0 with a 267 earned run average. His 18th appearance, they've all been out of the pen in 33 and two-thirds inning. Griffin's allowed 24 hits, 10 earned runs. He's walked eight, struck out 24. Opponents have hit 197 against Malik, who's a senior. 6'2", 161 pounds, they say. Brett Carson went two innings, five hits, a walk, and three strikeouts. The walk was intentional. He allowed three runs in the seventh, responsible for the man at first base. The starter, Gino Sabatine, went five and a third, three runs on seven hits, a couple of walks, a couple of Ks, and a hit batter. Logan Matson coming up, two for three today with a run scored. He's five for 11 this weekend. He's crossed the plate four times. Henwood is at first after his leadoff single. Carson, the final batter he faced, he struck out Jacob Booz. First pitch from Malik, swing and a miss by Matson. Both of these teams this weekend have beaten Catholic, and both teams have lost to Salisbury. They'll have to beat Salisbury a couple of times if they want to get all the way to the championship. 0-2 the count now. Salisbury awaits in what is scheduled to be our 4.30 game today. May look, looking to make quick work of Matson. It's in the dirt. Good block by Wittmeyer. If you're wondering, Carson is fully out of the game. They left Boyd in left field. So to get, if they do get back around to that spot in the order, right now it's Griffin Malik in the cleanup spot. One, two, hit into left center. Castle over and under for the second out. Well, big out for Malik to retire Madsen. Because now here comes the top of the order for point. Matt Bauman struck out swinging in the first inning against the starter Sabatine. Malik's pitch is low. 1 0. Bauman a strike out of the first, hit into a double play in the second and the fifth. Laying down a sacrifice bunt in the seventh. Helps set up the three-run inning. Close, but ball two. You know Malik wants to get Bauman and not have to face Simmons. They've pretty much taken the bat out of Simmons' hands today with three walks, the last one being intentional. In the dirt, 3-0. Malik, 3-0 pitch. Too far inside, ball four. So Aaron Simmons will get another at bat here. He has been walked traditionally twice and scored twice. And he was walked intentionally in the seventh in front of Peyton Nelson. And with the bases loaded, hit a two run single. Simmons, four for eight in the tournament with six walks. A triple, a homer, and he has <laughs> scored five runs. And three RBI. 
65 of those on the season go along with 21 homers. He hit his 21st home run here yesterday. The 22nd here would really put Marietta in the rearview mirror. The 1 0 pitch chops it back foul to the netting right in front of where the players from LaGrange are camped out. One and one. Runner at second, Henwood. Bauman at first. Malik the pitcher. A one one. Kept it away on the outside corner, and it's one and two. Pioneers have six, seven, and eight due in the ninth. Castle, Wittmeyer, and Richter. Tyler Byer has quit throwing in the Stevens Point bullpen. One, two. Low and away, two and two. And again, Simmons has shown he's got a great eye at the plate. Very disciplined, works counts. He's just a good hitter. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on, and a two-run game here in the eighth. And he got under it. Behind home plate. Wittmeyer staggers and can't make the catch. And golden opportunity for Marietta to get out of the inning. And now you give Aaron Simmons another crack at it. There'll be no play. I don't think they'll charge the catcher with an error, but it's a critical play, as you say, because it enables Simmons to have another swing with two on and two out in a two-run game. See if Simmons can take advantage of the break. Malik delivers. Simmons in the air, out of play, off the third base side. And he spoiled a pitcher's pitch there. Not sure if Byer is ready to come in or if they'll trot Syverson out there to pitch the ninth. Another 2-2 two -two on the way. Simmons lifts it, foul third base, and again. Goes up off the uh, overhang. Very competitive at bat by Simmons. Peyton Nelson is on deck if Simmons finds a way to prolong the inning. Peyton Nelson leads the tournament with six RBIs, including two today. Three for three today. Simmons down on strikes. Give Malik, up. big pitch by Malik. And just to say, give credit, tip your hat to the relief pitcher to come in and get the hot hitting Simmons and get his team out of a big jam. Gives him a chance to come back in the ninth. Two runners stranded, 6-4, top of the ninth, coming up next. Scott Sudikoff and Bill Brophy back with you in Cedar Rapids as this game is into the ninth inning. Last chance for Marietta. They had a tough situation in the bottom of the eighth. A couple of runners on for the pointers, but they do not score. Marietta scored one in the eighth to get back within two. Austin Syverston still on the mound for the pointers. Trent Castle leading off for the Pioneers. Tyverson, two and a third innings of relief thus far. It's a lot of run, a couple hits. 
And he throws strike one to Castle. 39 pitches, 27 for strikes for Syverson.